Good morning, students. Uh, as we have all know, today, uh, since there is a lockdown everywhere because of the pandemic, uh, we have to continue our classes uh, through online. And today's video is class 8 English. And uh, today we'll be covering the first part of the first chapter from our textbook. Uh, it so happened. Okay, since uh, no one, uh, none of you have your textbooks, uh, you are required to pay uh, full attention to this video. Okay, uh, so the name of the chapter today is How the Camel Got His Hump. Okay, uh, the hump, I think we all know what a camel is, and the hump of the camel. Okay, That's, this is the story How the Camel Got His Hump. The hump of the camel is the lump on his back, okay, the two lumps on his back. There are two types of camel. One type of camel have the, have only one hump and the other kind have two humps, okay. So let's start getting into the lesson. In the beginning, when the world was new and the animals were just beginning to work for man, there was a camel and he lived in the middle of a howling desert because he did not want to work. Okay, so, at the beginning of the world, there were uh, the animals were just starting to work for men. Okay, that means men were just starting to domesticate the uh, animals uh, to help them in their work. Okay, and there was a camel. He lived in the middle of the howling desert, and he did not want to work. He ate sticks and thorns and prickles. Okay, write this down. Uh, we all know what sticks are, we all know what thorns are, prickles. Prickles, okay. Prickles is a small thorn, okay, which are found on the desert. So the camel ate sticks, thorns and prickles. And when anybody spoke to him, he said, hump, just hump, and no more. Okay, so when the other animals and the uh, other living creatures uh, spoke to him, the camel would just reply them with the word hump. Okay, presently the horse came to him on Monday morning with a saddle on his back and said, Camel, oh camel, come out and trot like the horse came to the camel on a Monday morning uh, with a saddle on his back. Okay, that indicates that the horse has already been already been working for the humans. Okay, he had already worked for man. Mm. Hump said the camel, and the horse went away and told the man. Okay, so since the camel did not want to work like the horse, the horse went back to the man. Okay, his owner and he told the man. Presently the dog came to him with a stick in his mouth and said, Camel, oh Camel, come and fetch and carry like the rest of us. So uh, when the uh, horse gave up on trying to make the camel work like them, he went back to the man. Okay, after that a dog came to him with uh, a stick in his mouth and asked the camel to fetch and carry like the rest of them, okay? And we'll see what the camel said to the dog. Hum, said the camel, and the dog went away and told the man. So, just like the horse, the camel replied the dog with just the word hum, okay? Presently, the ox came to him with the yoke on his neck, okay? So, uh, again, uh, an ox came to the camel, okay? Here I have drawn a picture of a yoke and this is a yoke, okay? I'll give the definition for a yoke here. You write it down. A yoke is a wooden cross piece that is fastened. Okay, fasten means fixed over the neck of animals which is attached. Or guard. 
that it is true full. So now in miso we can say it's a whole mong whole. Okay. So the ox has already had a yoke on his neck. That means he is he has already walked for the human beings. Okay, for the humans, for the man. Let's see what the camel said to the ox. Hum said the camel, and the ox went away and told the man. So the camel just replied the three animals with just the word hum. Okay. At the end of the day, the man called the horse and the dog and the ox together and said, Tree, O oh tree, I am very sorry for you, but that hum thing in the desert can't work, and he would have been here by now, so I am going to leave him alone, and you must work double time to make up for it. So, the man called the horse, the dog, and the ox, okay, and the man said he felt sorry for the animals since the camel didn't want to work okay so uh, to make up for the uh, work that is not done by the camel those three animals have to work extra okay they, they have to work double for the uh, camel's laziness that made the tree very angry and they held a panchayat on the edge of the desert and the camel came chewing cut and laughed at them then he said, hum, and went away again. Okay, so after the man told the three animals that they have to double their work because of the camel's laziness, the three animals were very angry and they went to the uh, uh, edge of the desert and they had a meeting between them, okay, discussing what they are about to do. But the camel came and while he was chewing some food, he was just laughing at them, okay? Meaning, presently there came along the jinn who was in charge of all deserts, rolling in a cloud of dust. Okay, here jinn is spelled D-J-I-N D-J-I-N-N Okay, double N. So, jinn is pronounced J-I-N and this is like a genie, okay? A genie, a fairy. He came rolling in a cloud of dust. And let's continue reading. Jinn of all deserts, said the horse, is it right for anyone to be idle? Okay. So uh, when the jinn came, the horse asked him, is it right for anyone to be idle? Okay. Idle. Idle. Idle means uh, not doing anything. In Mizo, you can say it as on all. Okay. Certainly, certainly not, said the jinn. Well, said the horse. There's a thing in the middle of your desert with a long neck and long legs, and he hasn't done a stroke of work since Monday morning. He won't trot. Okay, so the, the horse told, after the horse asked the jinn if it's all right to be idle. The jinn replied, certainly not, okay, it's not okay to be idle, okay. And the horse told the jinn that uh, there is an animal who is doing nothing in the middle of that desert since Monday. Whoa, said the jinn, whistling, that's my camel, what does he say about it? Okay, so when the jinn said, uh, and uh, so the jinn said, that's a camel, and asked how did he reply them okay he said he says hum and won't, he won't plow said the ox very good said the jinn i'll hump him if you will kindly wait a minute okay so that is all the first part of the chapter and if it's possible we'll continue it in the next class okay